This video shows how to set up a serverless runtime environment with the AWS CloudFormation template. You can use the serverless environment to run a mapping task in Cloud Data Integration and Cloud Data Integration Elastic. We'll follow these steps to set up and test a serverless runtime environment. First, we'll use the AWS CloudFormation template to create a stack on Amazon Web Services. The template creates a virtual private cloud and other AWS resources we need to connect to the serverless runtime environment. Then it creates the environment and populates the properties. Next, we'll log into Informatica Intelligent Cloud Services Administrator to update the connections in our organization to use the serverless runtime environment. Finally, we'll show you how to use the serverless runtime environment in Cloud Data Integration Elastic to run a mapping task and monitor the job details. Let's get started. Go to AWS CloudFormation and create a stack. For the template, enter the Amazon S3 URL that Informatica provided. We've added the URL in the description box below the video. On the next page, enter a name for the stack. For the Virtual Private Cloud, or VPC, we'll use the default CIDR block. For the Public and Private Subnets, we'll also use the default CIDR blocks and then select the availability zone for each subnet. For the VPC deployment type, you can select NAT Gateway or S3 Endpoint. For this example, we'll select NAT Gateway. Now you'll enter properties about your organization so that the template can create the serverless runtime environment. For the mapping type, we'll select Data Integration Elastic. In this example, we'll use the default number of maximum compute units and the default task timeout. Enter the AWS tags and the supplementary file location on Amazon S3 that you want to use. On the next page, we won't make any changes. On the last page, review the parameters that the template will use. And finally, acknowledge the template's capabilities and create the stack. We can see that the stack is being created. It usually takes about four or five minutes for the AWS resources and the serverless runtime environment to become available. Now that the stack is complete, we can switch over to Informatica Intelligent Cloud Services Administrator. Go to the serverless environments page and refresh the page. You might need to wait a few more minutes for the serverless runtime environment to come online. When the serverless environment appears with the status of up and running, we can start using it in our organization. We can see that the CloudFormation template makes the setup very simple. Let's go ahead and update the connections in our organization to use the new runtime environment. So click Connections, search for a connection, and update the connection properties. Great, now we can use the serverless runtime environment to run a mapping task in Cloud Data Integration Elastic. In Informatica Intelligent Cloud Services, go to the My Services page and click Data Integration. In this demo, we'll use an elastic mapping that we already created. Click the mapping name to view the mapping, and then from the Actions menu, select New Mapping Task. Enter a name for the mapping task, choose the location, and select the serverless runtime environment that we just created. Go to the Schedule page, and click Finish to create the mapping task. Next, we'll run the task, and then we'll monitor it. Click My Jobs, and wait for the task to finish. And that's it! In this video, we showed you how to use the AWS CloudFormation template to create a stack on Amazon Web Services, update the connections in our organization to use the serverless runtime environment, and how to use the serverless runtime environment in Cloud Data Integration Elastic to run a mapping task and monitor the job details. For more information, see the serverless runtime environment section in the Informatica Intelligent Cloud Services Administrator Guide on the documentation portal. Visit our communities and support hubs or check out our website.